What if I told you that for only about 20 pounds, you could turn this almost nine year old desktop PC into a much faster PC and almost brand new PC with Windows 10 Professional. Now, you may not believe me, but you could also take this one step further and turn it into a very decent gaming PC, 1080p Ultra 60 FPS. And if you want to find out, then stay tuned because we are about to roll the intro. Hey Nim Tags and welcome, this is Ash from Hill My Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. Just a quick disclaimer that this video was actually filmed on the 10th of February 2019. That was one week before I found the problem with my PC which kept crashing and restarting due to the bad power supply. So you can watch that video up there. So I wasn't able to upload this video because the footage was actually quite shaky because I was holding the camera with one hand. So only now. I am able to put some uh, stabilization effects. As you can see, we are in DaVinci Resolve. There's some cropping ratio at 0.90 and smoothness at about 0.25. So I can finally upload this video in retrospective. Hopefully you'll understand once you watch the video. Thanks for your patience. You guys may know, watch my previous videos. I've explained I have a problem with my main computer which means I can't really edit videos much at the moment. It's kind of restarting and I haven't solved it yet. So this is going to be in one take, apologize. And also my voice is a bit croaky and I may make mistakes today, so just bear with me. Now, this is the Acer Aspire M3910 and it was brought by a client. He wanted to know whether he should uh, upgrade this or just buy a new desktop PC. So I had a look and fortunately everything in there was working perfectly fine. So I'm going to give you a little tour first. We've got a power supply. This is from Delta. I'm not too sure about the wattage. It's probably kind of a traditional about 200 something watt or 300 watt. So this will not be any good for a high powered graphics card, but you could put a very low powered graphics card, which doesn't require any PCI power and that should work. Okay. Now this funny little funnel you can see and the absence of fans at the back and at the front is what used to happen with a lot of uh, these proprietary desktops. And uh, it would draw the air in uh, from the air vent from the side panel, and there would be no fan usually, and uh, that's what they do. But you can always add fans if you want it and also get rid of this, okay? Now, underneath the normal cooler, this is an LGA, I believe, 1156 uh, motherboard. I may be wrong about the LGA, but it's a 1156 motherboard. So he's got currently an Intel i3 on there. It's a dual core, but with four threads, okay? This is also upgradable to an almost an i7 of some sort of generation. I'm not too sure what, but it may require a BIOS update. It has a Wi-Fi card. It has a PCI Express slot, okay? It came with me with only three gigabyte DDR3 RAM. Currently, I've put about five gig there. I haven't got any more with me right now, but this is upgradable to 16 gigabyte DDR3. I can't be sure about the speed, but you know, it shouldn't matter much because this can still be a decent upgrade. It has a standard DV drive, some other probably memory re card reader. I'm not too sure what that is yet. I haven't looked at it, but it came with a single 640 gigabyte uh, hard disk drive, you know, the normal 7,200 RPM disk drive. So the only thing I've actually done at the moment, at least, is to add an SSD. Although this is a 240 gigabyte SSD, you could go get a minimum I would advise would be a 120 gigabyte SSD and put your operating system on there, right? And then what you can do is turn this one into a storage device because this is still working. Now we were lucky, obviously this is still turning on, so which was quite fine. And uh, from the call boot, this computer with Windows 10 Professional boots up in about less than 30 seconds, which is not bad considering this is an almost uh, nine, maybe eight to nine year old desktop PC. I can't find the exact date for the release in there, okay? We've done our videos in the past. Go check out the video up there whereby we tested with a Linux SSD and a Windows SSD. And you know, you can actually make your computer much faster, almost brand new with just an SSD. And the prices for SSD have come down so much. It is well worth considering. My whole point is don't throw away your desktop computer. You may be sitting on a gold mine. And if the client was willing to leave this with me, I would love to 
upgrade the power supply, max out the RAM at 16 gigabyte, upgrade the processor, and obviously I have a couple of different uh, aftermarket cooler I could use because it will produce some excess heat, and then put a graphics card to see where we can take this bad boy. I think this can be a very decent gaming system. Now guys, if you happen to get your hands on this for cheap, and I believe you may, this kind of desktop PC, which by the way is a standard size desktop PC. This is a micro ATX size, very standard. And I believe any other uh, standard board might fit in there if you want to upgrade further. But my point is for only about 20 pounds, you buy yourself a 120 gigabyte SSD, you put in either Linux on there, or get a Windows Professional for as little as £1.50. We've done videos on this before, go check it up there. But if you want to spend a bit more, there are other websites to do £20 maybe or $20. By the way, I have hopefully an upcoming sponsored video whereby you can get genuine Windows 10 Professional license, which will be guaranteed to work. If not, you're going to get a replacement key. That should be coming up. Watch out for that. But you can get yourself also a Windows 10 Pro if you're into that kind of OS. It has its problems, but it is good for gaming at the moment at least. So what I'm saying to you is don't let this kind of gold mine go. Um, or if you have it at home, think twice before trying to buy a new PC. That's all you need to do is to just upgrade the SSD and as many RAM as you want. These RAM come in very cheap. This is DDR3 and you can get them for probably about five to 20 pounds. You'll max out the number of RAMs in there and you should be good to go. So that was short and simple, very quick tutorial. Well, kind of a show around. Now, uh, please let me know in the comment section below if you've got any other wishes for any other kind of videos. Like, you know, we are experimenting on a few different things at the moment, including one PC to rule them all. As usual, you know what to do. Leave me a like, leave me a comment, and also subscribe if you've not done so yet. As always, this was Ash from Humitech, helping you go from newbie to techie. Until next time, peace out.